I'm Julie Zeros, I'm the Member of Parliament for Davenport. I'm here with Dr. Lena Ajumeri, who's Director of SNAP, an unbelievable program, a best-in-class program, treating and supporting kids and youth who are experiencing anxiety and mental health issues in our riding of Davenport. And we're here to talk to you about mental health. Uh, the federal government uh, spent uh, just under a billion dollars in 2021 to support mental health initiatives across the country, including SNAP. Uh, there is a huge need for us to uh, support mental health, particularly for our youth. And Lena's going to tell us a little bit about the programs that exist here in uh, Davenport. Thank you, Julie. So SNAP is, stands for Stop Now and Plan. It is an evidence-based children's mental health and youth mental health program, as well as a crime prevention model to help kids stay in school and out of trouble. And the premise of it is really teaching kids how to stop and think before they act and make better choices in the moment. And you also have a new program that you're starting in terms of um, trying to create a program for youth in order to address the root causes of violence. Do you want to talk to us about that? Sure. So we realize that the SNAP program is incredibly effective for kids to help them stay out of the criminal justice system. But what people were asking us is, could we use it with youth already involved in the criminal justice system, maybe those involved in gangs? And so in 2012, we started piloting a program called our SNAP Youth Leadership and SNAP Youth Justice Model. And it really is teaching kids already in the system how to stop and think before they act as well, make better choices in the moment. And so at this point, we're all, we're doing testing in Ontario and it's ready to be scaled across Canada as well. Thank you. Uh, we're excited about the program. We need the program, particularly since we are experiencing gun violence in Toronto and we're trying to tackle gun violence in a number of different initiatives and I think this is one of the key ways that the federal government is supporting amazing initiatives such as the one that SNAP is, is, uh, is uh, supporting. Uh, the last thing I'd want to say is that the federal government will continue to make mental health uh, a priority um, moving forward, not only for our youth but also for um, the various different uh, ethnic groups within uh, communities like Davenport where 42% of our riding are born uh, outside of Canada and need uh, support and services uh, in other languages. Uh, mental health will be a big issue for, for Canada. We will continue to make this a priority and I want to thank uh, Dr. Lena Ajumeri for all her amazing work to her and her team for the amazing work that they do and all the support that they give to our kids and youth to put them on track for a better future moving forward. Any final words? Thank you, Julie. No, I think that I'm really honored to be part of this wonderful country and really, Julie, just the wonderful work you've been doing in Davenport, which is the home of SNAP, where SNAP was developed over 36 years ago. But really, it's really keeping ensure that we address the root violence of cause of violence, uh, best class programs, like you said, in children's mental health and at the Child Development Institute, we can't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you.